Hi, this is Art Illuminative, and while I paint, I would like to share with you. Today, I want to talk about emotions. We have five basic emotions, uh, joy, sadness, fear, rage, and pride. The combination of these five functions bring innumerable feelings like frustration, anxiety, stress, and melancholy. Today, I want to clarify that emotions are neither good or bad, they are neutral. Who gives them the label of good or bad is you. Unfortunately, we have learned that we can feel certain emotions and some of them are prohibited or some emotions are positive and some emotions are negative. That is wrong. The connection our brain does is for example if I'm feeling this emotion that is a bad emotion or that I should be shouldn't be feeling that emotion because it's bad it's associated as being bad so the connection with the brain is that that makes us feel like we need to stop feeling those emotions okay um, our brain will will want to ignore it or hide it you know the emotion so that will in the future bring disease or a physical symptom i will explain that further in the video so of course it's nicer to be feeling positive emotions like joy than to feel sadness however that doesn't mean that happiness is better than sadness or the rage or fear or pride, no. We live in an equilibrium world, in an everything balance. We go in waves up and down. There will be moments in which we could have immense happiness and in other moments we can also have immense sadness. And it is normal, that is what this is about. That is what this, journey is about we can learn to dance with emotions that even if you're feeling sadness or fear you can continue living you learn from the experiences you're having or what you live in the past and you can go on without sinking in one specific emotion without suppressing it without escaping from it allowing yourself to feel it for example, you break up with your partner, the boyfriend, your girlfriend, or husband, and you are sad. You go and talk to a relative or a friend, and that friend tells you, no, don't be sad, it's not worth it, if you're, if you're going to find somebody better, Sarah, Sarah. And there, when you listen to that, when you hear that in your brain, it's like what you're feeling in that moment is that your sadness is being dismissed. You feel rage and wrongly learn that sadness has to be hidden because it's not approved socially. And that you have to let my rage out and place it as a front. It is okay. If I am graceful for what he or she did to me, but it's not okay that I am sad. Sadness is not approved by societal norm. That is the input we receive. But if you keep doing that along your life, bottling emotions inside, you will never be able to express your sadness. But your sadness is there, is hidden inside. You cannot see it. You don't let it out, but it's still there. And later, you will start to have rage, bad temper all the time. And you will start to put labels on yourself. What are these labels? The labels are your opinions, your point of view. This is good, this is bad, this is ugly. I like it, I don't like it. Those are the labels, it's only your opinion. They are not absolute truth. It doesn't apply for everyone. 
What you consider good for you, another person might consider it bad. This depends on what you have experienced through your life personally and even in your family. Those are your beliefs, those are your programs installed since you were a, a child. What are programs? That is what you have recorded in your brain since you were little, even in your mother's womb. So be present, pay attention, realize the moment you start labeling. For example, I am a cranky person. I have a bad temper. I have a quick fuse. So that label happened just because you started hiding your sadness and build a wall made of rage. You hide your sadness behind your rage. It is not that you're bad temper or quick fuse, it's that in order to avoid to feel sadness, you cover it with rage. And now the sadness emotion is pushing to get out and explode. You must understand that we are in a world of equilibrium that is neither good or bad to feel emotions. To feel your emotions is normal. There is no good or bad emotions. All of them are the same and we are here to feel them in plenitude to feel them consciously. So, okay, I feel that and then what do I do? First, you gotta stop labeling the emotions as good or bad. They are neutral. The same with things, people, there are or people, you know, they're sim simply are neutral. You are the one that is labeling them from the point of view or your programs. Stop labeling, stop labeling yourself as shy, like I'm cranky, I'm fat, I'm bitter. You are a world of possibilities and you can be all that you want to be. You can be good, bad, skinny or fat or whatever you want. It's simply your decision. So the first thing is stop labeling. If you're feeling an emotion, feel it. Allow yourself to feel it. It's okay to feel it. Express it. And of course, you have to learn to manage it. You have to, for example, feel your bad temper and know what to do with it, how to express it in a healthy way. The second thing is to accept the emotion. There is no way that you can manage the emotion if you don't accept it. If you are feeling in this very moment sadness, if you're feeling in this very moment fear, go look yourself in the mirror and say, I am feeling fear. It's okay to feel fear. There is nothing wrong with feeling it. Embrace it and give it love. Bring the compassionate love that is needed in that moment. To fear, to rage, to sadness, to any emotion you're feeling in that moment or the emotion that is predominating in your life. Allow it to be accept that it's there, don't ignore it. Do not pretend that it's not there, that nothing is happening. Like to avoid conflict, I'm going to say this doesn't bother me or this doesn't hurt me. I'm going to pretend that this doesn't offend me. Do not do that. Now you can allow yourself all those emotions. You can give compassion and love to each one of them without judgment or criticize yourself. Just feel them. It's like when you are in the shower and you open the water and you start pour pouring down, you just let the water fall all over you and you enjoy it totally. Or you suffer it. Or did you miss the moment because you were distracted thinking of something else? But you let the water flow. That is what you were opening it for. 
and then it gets to the moment in which you just have to close it back. There is a moment to do that after expressing it in a healthy way. The exact same is what happens with the emotions. Sadness of the loss of a loved one is not the same than to lose an object you like. You have to learn to manage both emotional intensities. In neither of the two options, you're going to stay for too long. There is where the problem lies. When you stay in an emotion for too long, when you escape or hide or ignore an emotion for too long. If you have an emotion, allow it to let out, express it. It can happen that you didn't let it out verbally or emotionally. Eventually, that will come out somehow. How will it come out? As a symptom or a disease. Hint on the word disease. The remembrance is that diseases are non-expressed emotions. An emotion that it was not expressed at that time. If you feel a very charged emotion and you could not express it properly at that time, or if that same emotion repeats itself over time in small intervals, it could produce disease in the body. Then you go to the hospital and they, they cannot help you. And you start taking a bunch of drugs and nothing works. Of course not, because the answers are not outside. The answers are inside you, because healing is not outside, it's inside. Yes, outside, something happened that made you feel sad, joy, fear, rage. But what is outside that trigger an emotion in you is what is showing you the way to heal. What it's doing is showing you that inside you there is a wound, a wound that needs to be looked upon, a wound that needs that you give it love, that you embrace it, that you shine a light to it, that you illuminate it. That is the reason emotions exist. When you are submerged totally in an emotion, ask the emotion. What are you trying to tell me? What is the message you have for me? What is that I have to learn from this emotion? For what purpose am I feeling this fear? What is the purpose of feeling this sadness or this rage? Stay present and pay attention to that message because right there at that moment is when you start to heal thank you for joining me in my painting if you have any questions about this subject please leave it in the comments if you like this video please like it and share it with someone that might need to hear this if you want to see more videos like this subscribe hit the bell to get notifications every time I upload a video. I hope this video shines some light within you. This was Art Illuminative. Thank you for watching my videos.